Hey, as we were bounded to you guys, don't check him out. The Bishop of Philippines has left the church for Islam. Guys, this is actually trending, and I really want to see why. And I don't want to know why, but I... Let's just get straight into this. This is Bishop Cleopas Declan. He was declared to be the true Orthodox Bishop for the Philippines, the highest possible position in the church. He had served in the church for over 21 years and had been a fierce preacher in bringing people to the fold of Christianity. He was a learned scholar, having studied the Bible intensively in three different languages, Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic, and was considered a Bible expert. However, do you think this bishop found the real meaning of life with his titles and Bible knowledge? Okay, let's see how his life was changed completely in a few seconds. So while he was studying the Bible, he had read about Islam and took the brave decision to read the Quran. Upon delving into the Quran, he realized that it was the truth, the only scripture that was not tampered with, the only scripture that portrayed monotheism, and the only scripture that actually sounded like divine words. Man doesn't want to accept he's wrong, yeah? That's human nature too. So this bishop decides to re-study the Bible in all those three languages that he had studied before. And to his surprise, he comes across errors upon errors in the Bible, different versions in the different translations. He then realized Allah had preserved the Quran because the Quran remains in the language it was revealed in Arabic. The bishop also found the concept of monotheism beautiful, uncomplicated and simple, to understand and to impart to another. This was a huge difficulty he faced in Christianity, understanding the concept of Trinity and explaining it to others. He now knew the truth, but continued to serve in the church, but felt a sense of emptiness. And that emptiness could only be resolved when he read the Quran. You remember our intro? As frail beings, we, humans, often are enveloped in these feelings of emptiness, and there is only one solution to it. The solution is the Quran and Islam. He then informed the church of his decision and resigned. He admits it was a difficult decision to take, considering the highest position he had reached and the loss of titles and positions and name and fame as difficult for any human. He says, I cried a lot when I converted to Islam because Islam is the truth and the truth hurts but remains a fact. He took the Shahada and changed his name to Musa Ibrahim. Brother Musa Ibrahim has a yearning to learn the Arabic language because he believes that the true understanding of the Quran will only come about by understanding Arabic and not as precisely by reading translations. He's a peaceful man now, he says. It is obviously, he says, because he's following the path of oneness that the prophets all followed, and that is the path to eternal peace. In this world and to the ultimate eternal peaceful abode, heaven. Islam means submission to Allah, and the true followers of Islam will be enveloped in peace and happiness in their lives, helping them encounter moments of despair and hopelessness with faith and the Quran. Yeah. Guys, this, this is, this is, <laughs> and I'll say this is good. In the sense that it's, <laughs> I just got to meet you from like he actually converted to Islam in the sense that he believed the book is untouched and he believed in the monotheism. Yes, fact. And I feel that's a fact. Like that that is something that I believe most Christians have issue with. Not most, some. I can say some. Yes, most people feel like Christians have most Muslims feel like is Christians don't understand the Trinity, but it's more like somebody telling explain for you and you taking it or not. Yes, it's like someone telling you Muslim worship one God and Christians worship one God and you are like 
But who is Jesus? Jesus is the Son of God. Who is who is the Holy Spirit? You tell the person the Holy Spirit is our comforter, then you feel like so what's the Trinity? You be like Trinity is means TV got heads, like yeah, the TV on the throne. But they are classified as one because like it's the throne and the throne are classified as one. And the person is gonna be like, but you say, yeah, Jesus said you shall call him the same respect, you shall call God. So yes, because it's the son of God, like all the experts. But like to be honest, like People really have issue of understanding it. And yesterday I was actually listening to a song because I went for a nice video. And the song was like, He is the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne and He alone is worthy to be praised. I honestly had an issue with it. It's like, <laughs> maybe I should have watched the video, this is fucking my head off. But like, I feel it makes me see something that I believe I'm supposed to ask questions about. and. I believe if you have understanding about what you are doing, it's actually perfect. Well, I asked my sister, like, is it not strange? It says he's the lamp of God who sits upon the throne. Clearly, he, 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 the singer was talking about Jesus. But when he said, him alone is worthy to be praised, it's not, wait, who, who are we praising? Like, who are we worshiping? Like, I was scared that day, and I feel I'm going to ask, Questions. Because I believe that when you ask questions to people who knows more than you, like you get their own point of view and you take it or you leave it, like you check it if it makes sense or not. And I believe if you see it makes sense, like you have to take it. But if it doesn't, you ask to you will are sure that ah, uh, this doesn't make sense. Maybe you have to reach out to the singer or something. But I don't want to think about this video. Just like share, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.